Hey there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Back to the 1985 Worlds in the Time Machine on the channel today. These two guys were great skaters. I remember seeing Victor Shashirin right here. He was uh, just pure muscle. There's like not an ounce of fat on this guy. Brutal 1,500 meter skater, great middle distance. And Oleg Bozhev, of course, one of the greatest all-arounders of the 1980s. He could do everything. My my estimation of his technique, he's like the human vacuum. He sucks up ice and moves forward. Eric Hendrickson dominated the ice and moved forward more, but all that kind of like sucks it up. So let's watch what happens here on the start. We've had a lot of questions about the start. So let's see the contrast of the start in these two skaters. Very quickly, we noticed two very different styles. A lot of questions about position. This is good position. You can see Victor is ready to go. Weight on the back foot. So you want to have most of the weight on the back foot because then you can use your right glute if you're right-handed and drive forward. Oleg has a little more central position, central gravity, but I'll show you why that works for him and Victor right now. Okay, Victor is more up and a runner like Koriva was. Remember, we showed Koriva last week. Great sprinter. Dominant J Japanese skater for a long time. So Victor is more of a up and down at the start and, and wide. But see how that knee drive comes through? See that knee drive? He's literally running. And then plants the blade and drives against it. Really, really good. A little wide. Now let's look at Oleg Bozhev. Just like Uwe Jens Mai in a way. So he comes off the line. Very different. See where this is? And see where this is? Very different. Oleg Bozhev has his pressure much more under him than Viktor Shashirin. Do they both work? Yes. Why do they work? Because we have different anatomies as skaters. You have to figure out what works for you. Nothing is great for everyone. So just look at the power and the absolute flexibility of Victor Shashirin. Look at this nice C in those days. We've talked about that. Just great and great deep position right on that skate right away. No outer, just hammer in that skate. Now let's look at Victor or Oleg here. A little slower starter, but very clean timing. And he's into his skating stride. Oleg Bozhev's skating stride does not vary as much as Victor's. So let's look at this. Just, again, great power into that turn. Gotta love the sunshine on the skins in those days. Love it. So first corner, Hamar is not Lillehammer. Hamar is about 48 kilometers from Lillehammer, Norway. Just a great spot, though. So here's a great angle of the turn. Look at, look at Oleg Bozhev. He had some of the best turns in the business. Notice how Victor's a little bit up higher. Let, has a little curl here. We've talked about the curl. Stay away from the curl because that means you're staying too long with the skate. That means your angle on that blade. Look how it's a little bit upright. You see that? I see it. Now look at Oleg Bozhev. Is there any curl? No, it's off and he's on it. Better angle on the blade too. So let's watch this. Lots and lots of movement forward, Oleg Bozhev. And for you fans at home and the people that think they just invented how to put two arms up in a 1500, guess what? Victor Shashirin did it in 1985. So there he is. Great smooth entries for both skaters. Entries, transitions are where problems happen. Don't make them happen. Pretend the straightaway doesn't end. Pretend the corner doesn't end and you'll be there. Now let's focus on Oleg Bozhev's corner here. This is incredible technique for any era. First of all, we notice that there's no, nothing out. His knee's not blowing out. It's straight down. So he's got incredible pressure on this right 
as he drives through to the left. And guess what? That right is off so fast, he's right on the left. And look at this lean. Incredible lean. Really, really nice. And what happens when you're early on the skate? You get to drive a lot forward, and he's right on that skate again. Incredible timing. And just perfect. So let's, let's watch this in fast motion, then slow motion, because I really want you to see this. Look how the synergy between skates is so obvious. Watch his timing. You can see how his right is so early. Right is really early. E stands for early. Watch this. Watch his right push. Incredibly early. And his position is really deep. Just a really, really textbook turn. And he's like the, the human vacuum on the ice. Really does a great job. transition and here's where his technique is so unique look how early Oleg Bozhev is on this skate out of that straightaway out of the corner lateral compression move with the lead and great flexibility again flexibility is key as a long track speed skater be flexible flex and the recovery builds just like in his turns, recovery builds right in. Look at these lines. It does not get any better. No matter what era you're in, it doesn't get better. Moving the let lead, not too much outer. We've talked about that before. Right on the pressure and on. And Victor is doing a different technique back here, and it's it's not quite as pretty, but it's just as effective. He's really throwing himself out over this left. Great relaxation off the skate, and again, incredible power. Look at this power down on the ice. So different techniques, but very effective. That's the lesson for today. You must work with your anatomy, but you can do simple things well if you understand yourself. All right, we'll talk next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. See ya.